Hi everyone, it's Lindsay from Canada and I've just woke up here uh, in the morning to some terrible news. I'll read it to you. Um, so Palestinian medical sources confirmed the Palestinian woman who was killed by Israeli occupation forces yesterday didn't carry an explosive belt as the army claimed but was instead five months pregnant. Her only fault was walking uh, the wrong route and not understanding Hebrew. So I've told you guys previously about uh, the checkpoints that Palestinians have to go through to move. Um, they cannot move freely uh, throughout occupied Palestine. Okay, so she was trying to go through to get to where she needed to go. <clears throat> the Israeli police and army tried to come up with various allegations. Um, usually these allegations are completely bought hook, line, and sinker unless there is video evidence, which we have seen videos of the Israeli occupation forces planting knives. Um, we've seen them shoot people um, who had no weapon on them. So uh, they, they said uh, the usual claim, carrying a knife. They then tried to claim that she was wearing an explosive belt, and this is what the article said, the only thing she carried was her fetus. The slain woman has been identified as Maram Salah Abu Ismail. She was 24 years old. A mother of two children, Sarah, who was six, and Remes, who was four. Her brother, Ibrahim Taha, he was only 16 years old. Um, he was killed while he was walking with her, heading to Jerusalem, after she obtained for her very first time a permit to enter the city. Could you imagine needing a permit to enter a city in your province, in your state, because, because you're brown, okay? <clears throat> so you might be a terrorist, okay? In contrary to the Israeli alleg allegation that Maram carried a knife and the second allegation of her carrying an explosive, eyewitnesses said the two victims walked the wrong route while heading to uh, Kal Kalandia Terminal as they turned the route that is only used for vehicles instead of the pedestrian path. The soldiers then started shouting at them in Hebrew, a language that uh, neither her or her brother understands. Then the woman froze in fear before the soldiers started firing at her, and when her brother rushed to rescue her, the soldiers shot him too, and both were left to bleed to death. Uh, they were tens of meters away from the soldiers, and contrary to the military allegations, they did not attempt to attack any soldier or officer. An eyewitness from Jerusalem said after the soldiers shot the pregnant woman and her brother, they retreated a few meters back and fired several additional live rounds on them, confirming the kill. We've seen this before. Um, quote, there was no stabbing attempt and no reason for the army to shoot. The soldiers shot them from a distance and later fired more rounds to confirm the kill. Ahmad said. The soldiers then placed two knives next to the lifeless body of the pregnant woman, and shortly after that, the police published pictures showing three knives. A bus driver who witnessed the shooting said an Israeli soldier who, standing behind a large concrete block, shot the woman from a distance of more than 20 meters. Neither the woman or her brother posed any threat to the lives of the soldiers, as always. They were very far away from the nearest soldier, and they didn't pose any threat to them. They were walking the wrong route, that's what another witness has said. So, it's worth mentioning that a Palestinian ambulance rushed to the scene, but the soldiers closed the entire area, which we've also seen them do this before, preventing the, uh, the medics from reaching them, and so then they bled to death. More than an hour after the shooting, Israeli military medics placed the corpses of the two Palestinians in black bags and took them away. One day before this fatal shooting, a Palestinian man in his 60s nearly faced the same fate when he walked the same route, but when the soldiers started shouting at him, he understood Hebrew, so he was able to get away. So here we go. Here we go again. So, that's why I call it a holocaust. Because they are literally exterminating, and n no one is getting up in arms about this. The Palestinian people are being exterminated, and we're watching it. And now there's this, an explosive belt, and it was a baby in a woman's stomach. So now there's 
Three people dead from that one. Please, share the story. It's going to be in the link in, in the bottom in the comments.